recruits, my rockin' red stars. I'm not even gonna order lunch today because I'm having takeout. The takeout dish that you guys are making today is beef and broccoli stir-fried noodles. Mmm, yummy. And we're gonna start with scallions. We're just gonna cut off the hairy end and we are going to make really nice, very thin, beautiful slices here of the whites. I'm gonna do the same thing with green and I'm gonna keep them separate. Now we have garlic. I'm going to take my knife and I just give it a little tap and then look at that, the skin flies right off. I'm gonna put it right towards the edge of my board and my knife right on top of it. This is fun, this makes you feel like a badass. Ugh! Right? Get in there and smash it. So what we're doing is breaking all the cells of the garlic so that when it hits that hot oil, right? So now, just give it a little bit of a chop. There we go. We're gonna need about an inch of ginger. Scrape the skin off, grater, all right? Ginger, garlic, scallions, GGS, right out of the box, right? I have an onion. I'm going to cut my onion in half right through the middle. Always leave the hairy end on. I slice to the back, but not through the back. So see what I have? I have an onion that's cut, but it's together. That's what the hairy end does. It holds everybody together. I'm just gonna cut the hairy end off and look what I have, a perfectly sliced onion. Now, broccoli. broccoli. We are going to cut the stem off the broccoli. We are not going to throw this away. I'm gonna peel the outside of the stem. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut these just into coins. They kind of have like the crunch and texture of a water chestnut. Cut these into bite-sized florets. Right through the stem and kind of just breaking them apart. We are going to cook our broccoli in salted boiling water until it's perfectly cooked. And then we are going to do what's called shocking it. What that does is it stops the cooking immediately and it sets the beautiful green color. I'm just gonna swish it around a tiny little bit. I'm gonna let my water come back to a rolling boil. While that's happening, the last piece of mise en place that I need to do is, I need to cut my steak. I'm going to trim off all the fat on this. We want to cut this guy into really thin little slices because we want to cook this really quick and fast. There we go. Take this. So once your broccoli gets cold, take it out of the ice water because you don't want it to get soggy. I want it to be cooked but still fresh and have some texture to it. I have a lot of steak here. I'm going to cook this in two batches because I don't want to crowd my pan. I am going to coat my pan lightly with oil. I'm going to give my beef a little bit of salt. And I don't want to crowd my pan because I want this to get nice and brown. This is really a fast cook. And then once we see things getting brown and a little bit crispy, we're gonna take them out. I have my beef in my pan, and there's room for the steam to escape, right? Because if the steam doesn't escape and my pan is crowded, instead of turning brown, things will just steam and get gray and soggy. Woo! All right, there we go. These guys, done. So brown your beef, take it out of the pan, and set it aside. Now, with all of this crud on the bottom of the pan is what we call fond, and it's just the meat juices. Fond is a fancy word for bottom. I like to call it the crud. People get mad when I call it the crud, but that's what it is. So I'm adding a tiny bit more oil. All right, and now we go. Ginger, garlic, and scallion whites right in my pan with my onions. See, this is why we have to have perfect mise en place because this this fast of a cook. I'm going to add two tablespoons of rice wine vinegar. I put some liquid in there and then look what happens. I can kind of scrape the crud off the bottom of the pan, right? It smells delicious already, doesn't it? So at this point, let's drop our noodles. These are about a five minute cook. 
Now, let's get into the saucy part of our stuff. This is what we call oyster sauce. It's salty and it's pretty viscous and thick. Just for fun, I'm going to add a little chili paste. My ramen noodles look done. So I'm going to take them right from there, right into my pan. Broccoli, beef, turn off my burner. Toss it around, get all the noodles and everything coated. Everybody nice and combined. These you, we throw in right at the end. We want them raw. We want that crunchy crispiness. All right, okay. So let's plate this guy, it's done. So we have these cute little containers for you guys. Oh, they're so cute. Like the get the noodles, drop in there, give it a little twist around. There we go. And then the last thing I'm gonna just finish it off with is my scallion. What do you guys think? You wanna taste it? Yes. Oh, sure. 